Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be getting on Zen for the first time since his eye surgery. So if you guys follow my Instagram, you probably already know this, but Zen sustained an injury to his eye on the 1st of March this year, um, just about two weeks ago now. We don't know what he did. It happened overnight or earlier in the morning. And we've checked his entire stall for things that are sharp or that have, could have caused the injury from what the hospital thinks is he was either swinging at a fly or just bonked his head on something and the force um, on like the gelatinous membrane of the eye could be enough for it to rupture. So, okay, Remington, we see you, bud. <laughs> um, so they think that's probably what happened. On Sunday, which was the first, I called one of my vets out to have him look at it and evaluate it, seeing if there was any hope to keep the eye, even though he was already 100% blind almost immediately after it happened. And we were set on a program for about three to five days in hopes that it would maybe heal by itself. Midday Sunday, I actually just made the decision to take him in because I didn't want him to be suffering. Even though he was on pain medications, it was pretty obvious how uncomfortable he was. Um, so I decided to go ahead with the removal of his eye. The decision wasn't hard to make as far as Zinn's well-being. It was just um, a hard decision as far as what he's now gonna look like for the rest of his life, which sounds very shallow. Um, it's just really unfortunate to have a horse that you feel like is one in a million that so many people would inquire about him being for sale and stuff like that. And me feeling like I really had something special um, to now be flawed. So that was really hard for me mentally, but he seems to be doing really well. Um, he came home Monday after surgery and there was some swelling. They decided to put a prosthetic in, which was very frustrating to me because I would have preferred not to have the prosthetic, but they decided to go ahead without my consent um, and put it in. I guess I should probably address why I don't want a prosthetic in there. I've gotten that question a lot. Um, one is the look. I would prefer it to just be anatomical. I mean, he doesn't have an eye in there, so a socket makes sense. I get a lot of questions like, is it a glass eye? Are they gonna open it? Is his eye still in there? And for me, it's such a sensitive subject. It, maybe it shouldn't be, but to me it is. Um, I just wish it was not there. Another reason is the increased risk of infection and rejection. So if his body decides they don't want that um, golf ball plastic marble in there, it'll actually reject and start pushing it out. And it's another surgery that's gonna cost a few thousand dollars. I'm not gonna name names, um, you know, I, it's partially my fault. I took him into the hospital very late at night. I was gone out of service working all day and picked him up very late at night. So um, while they didn't ask me, it's kind of unfortunate that I wasn't there to be able to voice my opinion about it. So that's kind of frustrating, but it is what it is. I'll show you his eye now. It actually is healing very well. Um, he gets his stitches out in two days, so today he gets to do a little bit of walk trot just so that he doesn't have as much energy um, for when he gets those sutures taken out. You're still very handsome. <laughs> I don't want you to smile. I'm trying to show them your eye. Come here. This is Zin's new eye. Um, you'll notice that he still has blinking reflexes, so when he blinks, um, he'll actually, of course he's not going to do it right now. When he blinks, he blinks on both eyes. Um, that's pretty normal. He also still has facial expression because all those muscles are still there. With the recovery time, they say it does take a few months for that swelling to really completely come out um, and kind of sink in around the prosthetic. If you can tell, he is very happy all the time. He's been in very good spirits and he seems to not care as much as mom does, but um, I'm sure he'll adjust well. Now, as far as jumping and everything um, that I had planned for him, I'm just gonna kind of take it in stride. If he feels confident jumping still, um, then he'll jump. But I have zero expectations. I'm hopeful, but I have zero expectations and we'll just take it one step at a time and see what he wants to do. What are you doing? <laughs> now, things that have changed. Um, 
He's very used to me monkeying around him, pulling the blanket off, you know, um, just being kind of obnoxious, dropping things. Sometimes when I throw the blanket up, I'll hit the ceiling. So he's not super spooky. Um, the biggest thing is obviously when I walk him, I have to walk him on the right um, so he can see me, at least for now, because if I walk him on the left, he will actually um, sometimes just bump into me and startle himself because he won't see me and then he'll swing his head around to the left and go whoa didn't know you were there um another thing is if i walk up on the left if i don't talk to him he won't know i'm there so i have to talk to him a lot um otherwise if i start talking he turns his head around like what didn't see you there um otherwise we'll see some other things unfortunately that are going to be changing for him um is he won't be able to be turned out in the large arena because the rails slant inward and um lunging and round pinning he can't see the outside when he tracks to the right so we'll see how that goes First day to ride your horse when it's sprinkling and freezing. Why not? It's not good. So, boy, you see me here? Boy. Oh. need to trot for a little while, huh? Cheeto up there, there's a mountain lion that is doing things. <laughs> Cheeto! Good boy, Vinny. Oh, keep going. It's like the most special chop. Good boy.
Good 